Greetings dear viewers. First of all, I am giving the latest football news of the country and abroad. Challenge for Julian Alvarez some one negative streak with Argentine. Neymar reportedly slid into DMs of disgraced Paraguay Olympic swimmer Luana Alonso. Mbappe completes first Real Madrid training session. Injured Messi improving but ruled out for Sunday's League's Cup match. Challenge for Julian Alvarez some one negative streak with Argentine. Diego Pablo Simeone was key in the signing of Julian Alvarez. The Argentine will come to Atletico de Madrid to add goals and category, as well as to break a curious streak. Julian Alvarez will be the Argentine number 16 under the command of Cholo in Athletic of Madrid. All parts of the operation are focused on sooner rather than later the former River Plate signing its contract with a team where Diego Pablo Simeone waiting for days. The negative streak of Argentines by the Metropolitan must be broken to compete in Spain as Europe after a titanic investment and above all the clubs in La Liga. Atletico de Madrid has signed firmly, with large sums of money and to return the club to a step where it was far from asserting itself in the last 24 months. You bet to join with Argentina once again around a Julian Alvarez, who will have as a mirror the Sergio Aguero, Maxi Rodriguez or German Burgos from the past is already a reality. Of course, in recent times his compatriots have been far from reaching their best level under the controls of Cholo. Break the trend, on the way to success in every way. Let's go to the beginning of everything. Simeone signed in 2011 his first contract with Atletico de Madrid, where he found faces known to the Argentine scene as Radamel Falcao. The first albiceleste code name under his command was a Emiliano Insua, that 17 games later, he left the capital of Spain for Stuttgart. Cata Diaz, just 22 games, Martin De Michelis, same and sold to Manchester City, Jose Sosa, 24p before going to Metalist of Ukraine, or Christian Ansaldi, first cases that could not settle sharing a passport with Diego Pablo. Be careful, of course there were names where success was marked from day one. Then Angel Strap remain in the template since 2015 with more than 420 games with 80 goals shows the way forward. If we talk about the progress that Cholo's compatriots have had under his command, it is impossible to forget about other resumes such as Augusto Fernandez and for some moments the duo Rodrigo de Paul Nahuel Molina. These will be demanded more than ever after the Copa America and in a year loaded with tournaments. Even in these last two names, the irregularity has also accompanied his passage through the Metropolitan. More cases where the expected level was not reached. Last names such as Matias Kraniviter, Luciano Vieto or Nico Gaetan stand out. Atletico de Madrid still has life sheets such as Giuliano Simeone. Other names tied until not long ago as federative rights to the entity such as the defender Nehuen Perez, or the tip Nicolas Ibanez they did not debut and were converted into currency for transfers. This is the panorama that is Julian Alvarez around the performance of his last compatriots with Cholo. Break the trend, key in every way. Neymar reportedly slid into DMs of disgraced Paraguay Olympic swimmer Luana Alonso. So yeah, Brazilian soccer star Neymar has always had a thing for blondes and Paraguay Olympic swimmer Luana Alonso is clearly not an exception. Ever since she started competing as a professional athlete, she has been subject of multiple news articles where her beauty is one of the main topics of conversation. In recent days, the International Olympic Committee, IOC, confirmed that they expelled Luana Alonso from the Olympic Villa because she actually came back to it even after being eliminated from the tournament. The swimmer spoke to the press right after getting eliminated and she even cried as she announced she would retire from the sport. After the elimination, Luana reportedly came back to the villa and the committee had to ask her to leave the premises. Rumors ran wild of what actually made the committee kick her out. Some stated she was just being unruly, others claimed that she was under the influence, while others even claimed she was running naked around the premises. Nobody knows for sure what happened but the statement says she was expelled for inappropriate behavior, whatever that means. For Brazilian soccer star Neymar, that unruliness is more than enough reason to slide into Luana's DMs. But when did that happen? Neymar actually did reach out to Luana Aonso, but this happened before she became as famous as she is today. The Brazilian soccer star actually slid into Luana's DMs when she was 18 years old. Speaking on a show called Or de Todos from her home country of Paraguay, 
Luana stated Neymar started reacting to her Instagram posts back in 2022. That was more than enough for her to become viral. During that show, Luana said, He did shoot me a DM, that is all I can say. The message remains in the unread messages bin. I can't tell you more than that here. Mbappe completes first Real Madrid training session, day one. Hala Madrid, wrote the France captain in a post on X, accompanied with photos of the day's session. Real Madrid star summer signing Kylian Mbappe took part in his first training session with the Spanish champions on Wednesday. Day 1. Hala Madrid, wrote the France captain in a post on X, accompanied with photos of the day's session. After undergoing pre-season medical tests, the players worked out in the gym at Madrid's training center, the club said in a press release. They also added the full squad had reported to training, with the return of the players who had taken part in Euro 2024 this summer. Attacker Mbappe was eliminated with his country in the semi-final stage of the tournament by eventual winner Spain. The 25-year-old superstar was officially unveiled as a Madrid player on July 16 at the Santiago Bernabeu, where he told the 80,000 fans present in the stadium that his dream has come true. Injured Messi improving but ruled out for Sunday's League's Cup match. Messi no longer wears a walking boot but hasn't rejoined his teammates for a practice workout instead working with trainers to heal the injury. Lionel Messi will not play for defending champion Inter Miami against Tigres in a League's Cup home match Sunday despite injury improvements, Miami coach Gerardo Martino said. Messi suffered a right ankle ligament injury in last month's Copa America final, helping Argentina to victory over Colombia. But Martino said the 37-year-old Argentine striker is getting better. Messi no longer wears a walking boot, Martino said but he has not rejoined his teammates for a practice workout, instead working with trainers to heal the injury. In the past two months, Miami have won seven of eight matches without Messi, who last year arrived and sparked the Major League Soccer team to a trophy in the inaugural League's Cup. The World Cup-style event featuring MLS and Mexico's Liga MX clubs has three team groups with two clubs from each advancing into knockout round play. Miami and Tigres are among 15 teams that have already clinched berths in the 32-club knockout round so only a seeding spot is at stake Sunday. Injured Messi improving but ruled out for Sunday's League's Cup match. Messi no longer wears a walking boot but hasn't rejoined his teammates for a practice workout, instead working with trainers to heal the injury. Lionel Messi will not play for defending champion Inter Miami against Tigres in a League's Cup home match Sunday despite injury improvements, Miami coach Gerardo Martino said. Messi suffered a right ankle ligament injury in last month's Copa America final, helping Argentina to victory over Colombia. But Martino said the 